Less than 10 miles from the Syrian border, the Zaatari camp in Jordan is home to more than 80,000 Syrian refugees who fled the war. A decade after the camp first opened, most camp residents still consider going home a distant dream, though their homes are only miles away from this temporary shelter. أنا بالنسبة لإلي قلت إن كثرت شهرين يعني لحتى إني طلعت حكيت لك بنتي الصغيرة كنت أحملها حمل شحاطة ما أخذت لها يمكن أواعي ما جبت إحنا طالعين على أساس إن كثرت شهرين يعني فيك تعيشهم تتأقلمهم كيف ما كانت فللأسف صرنا الظروف ساءت للأسوأ فما كان لي أي رغبة أو إني أي نية إني أرجع والظروف صعبة لأنه أنا طالعة دور الأمان ما أنا طالعة أرجع أخاف و Millions of Syrians were forced to leave their home after the outbreak of the Syrian war in 2011. To help the Syrian refugees, the Jordanian government and the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees have set up camps across the kingdom. The Zaatari camp is the largest one of them. Since the establishment of the refugee camps, the UNHCR regards them as an emergency measure rather than permanent resettlement sites or solution to refugees' predicament. Now we are talking about the 10th anniversary of Zatari camp. Zatari camp started as a, a tent. Nowadays we moved from tent to prefabricated houses to accommodate more than 81,000 refugees who are living in the camp now. Zatari camp from the first day was not intent to have a permanent solution or a permanent resettlement, resettlement for the refugees here inside the camp. In the beginning it is a, a, a solution that for the a period of a crisis a survey data by the UNHCR showed that the majority of the camp's residents still want to return to Syria in the future, while most of them believe it is still not safe at present. Jordanian analysts believe that the deteriorating economic situation in Syria, which is worsened by U.S. sanctions, is another reason why Syrian refugees are unwilling to go home. Many of them are not returning back because the situation in Syria is economically unstable and uh unbearable for for years to come unilateral u.s sa sanctions are playing part in that i i don't think that uh, unilateral sanctions are affecting uh, the political structure as much as it affects ordinary people ordinary people are the biggest losers of unilateral sanctions